1994, and Nelson Mandela, by now an iconic figure of international peace, traveled to Oslo to receive his Nobel Peace Prize. 16 years previously, another former wanted terrorist, Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin, also became a Nobel laureate. But for one family in Israel, the debate about whether Begin was a terrorist or a freedom fighter had an especial resonance. One of the Jewish victims of the bombing of the King David Hotel in Jerusalem in 1946 was 35-year-old Zvi Shimshi. He left behind a young, pregnant widow and a four-month-old daughter and a family disagreement. My father, absolutely, I think he was a victim of terrorism and of an unjust terrorism. Uh, terrorism which killed civilians and, and, and citizens and street walkers and not only government uh, officials. And uh, I think I, I, I'm very much against it. I, mean, I think that terrorism is not a solution for anything, not, not an answer for anything, not, not, for, not here in Israel and not anywhere else in the world. I, <laughs> I, I don't think they were terrorists. I don't. I think they were national fighters, really. That's my feeling till today, and even at the time it happened. Menachem Begin and his Zionist compatriots, whether freedom fighters or terrorists, invented the modern age of terror. Today, the state created in the wake of their actions is itself subjected to almost unimaginable terror from those who also claim it as their homeland, and who, in some cases at least, want to eliminate all Jews from the face of the earth. Both sides seem unable to recognize one of the fundamental lessons of the use of terror in the name of liberation. You will never really get true security and peace from the barrel of a gun. Ultimately, it's going to be when people sit down and acknowledge that the other has as much right uh, to existence as themselves. It's a spiral that is going to go on until someone has the sense to say, hey, we can't go this way forever. <laughs>